Hi! My name is Ella and today I'm going to show you how to make these nails. I really love how they came out. It's like a white and gold glittering um, design. <laughs> yeah, so if you like these nails, please stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Thank you! Bye! Okay, so I've done one nail or two already. And I'm going to show you when I do the third nail. I start out with um, with these molds or forms or whatever you call them. I take one and I shape it a little bit. And then I place it on my nail. Make sure it fits, gets everything. And I have it in there and then I take this thing and I fold it and I put it under so that it doesn't slip up because sometimes it does and I'm gonna go in with my UV gel it's clear gel and I'm gonna start I'm gonna take a bead quite big like that and I'm going to start molding the nail. I make the tip first. I make a little box how I want it to be shaped. I hope you see. And I full mold it. Like that. And it's better to do too much the first time because you can file some off, but it's harder and more work when you have to put more in later. So I make a really big one, a big nail, big tip so that I can shape it later. I do a thin layer over the entire nail and thicker around the stress points. Oh, you can see that it's opening up on now. I do it thicker around the stress points, which are right here. And that's where the nail tends to break off after a while. Like that. I hold it upside down for a little bit because it will self level. We do that, you can see it. And now I'm gonna put it in the lamp for the full three minutes. Now my finger has been in the lamp for three minutes and I'm gonna take off this form. It comes off very easily, for me at least. Then I'm just gonna fill up because it's not very thick right now and we have to make it thick so that it will hold and last. So I'm just gonna fill up, especially the parts where it's thinner right now and the parts that tend to break easily so I'm just moving the product around and then on the entire nail You can turn it up like this so you can see where it needs to be more or less. Now I'm going to hold it upside down one more time and then put it in the lamp again. This time for about two minutes. Okay, now it's been there for two more minutes. And now I'm going to take a cotton pad like this. And I'm going to take rubbing alcohol and I'm using a nail cleanser, nail polish cleanser. And I'm going to rub it off, rub the tacky layer off so you can file the nail. Like this. 
And now we can see it's very uneven, so we're gonna file it. I'm first gonna file the shape to that. Because I want them a little bit pointy. I like that. The other way like this. And then we go up where it needs to be smoothened out. It's really hard to do when the camera is in front of my face, but I am trying. Like that, and now I'm gonna go in with the rubbing alcohol again and brush the files off. Like that, and now it looks kind of even, so I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna go in with my white gel. It's from the same brand, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do Final layer. Gonna let this self level a little bit too. And then I'm gonna put it in the lamp for about one minute. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with these gold flakes that I bought at a hobby craft store in Sweden. But for you and USA, I'm sure you can find this at like all of your stores that I always hear about in everyone's videos. So yeah, you, I'm sure you can find this somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna take um, either top coat or base coat. I think I'm gonna go with a top coat of these, this. And I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna paint all over the nail. Hope you can see it now. I don't wanna zoom in because then the quality goes so bad. I'm gonna take it over the entire nail so that it gets sticky so that the flakes can stick to somewhere here I have the flakes I'm gonna take some scoop it up there I don't know and then just like put it onto the nail on different like places where I want it I'm thinking I want it more to the side so I'm just putting it there Maybe just pick it up with my finger. This maybe would work better with nail polish actually. Because nail polish is very sticky and... Yeah. I think that's so pretty. So now I'm gonna go in with this in the lamp again for maybe one minute and then I'm gonna do top coat over. Okay, so now the nail has been in the lamp for one minute. I'm gonna go in with a top coat over the entire thing. I do recommend you to do nail polish and not the top coat because the nail polish is so much more sticky and better. It's gonna look really cool. So now I'm gonna do put this in the lamp again. And now this nail is done. What do you think? 
I think it will be really cool when all of the nails are like this, so you'll see it later. And here we have the finished result. I really, really like it. I think it turned out so cool with the gold flakes. And as I said in the video, don't use uh, the gel top coat, use nail polish because when it dries out you can push the gold flakes in so that they don't stick up because now this is very rough, which I did the gel top coat and with the nail polish it's very smooth and yeah, it turns much nicer. Okay, so I really hope you like this video. If you do, please like the video, maybe subscribe to my channel. And if you're Swedish and watching this, you can check out my blog. I will link it in the description. And if you don't understand Swedish and you still want to check out my blog, please leave a comment so that maybe I can start writing in English. I will see you in the next video. Bye!